I expect you're all sick of this now, but I think I'm overthinking this. I mean, to my mind, this yoke and this pinion to to make a tapered hole in that accurately that's got to be assembled drilled and reamed all in one operation so that would have meant this rack following round at least this yoke if not the whole column and the column the other end of that all following around in a complete set now where's the numbers on these that say they match well I don't think there are any now if they end up at Jaguar as these pieces as unmatched sets just drilled but not reamed there's going to be there's going to be differences and this is what I think so the holes aren't going to line up exactly there will be a difference because they're drilled on different machines at different times with different drills and so on now if we end up with something like that here's our reamer it either comes down there and follows that route so therefore we've got we've got a big gap here or it tries to follow that route and we end up with a big gap here so I don't see how you can assemble these later and then put a reamer through and did Jaguar really do that I I think they'd have fitted a rack got a column off the shelf and banged a pin through it and I really don't think they'd have messed around trying to ream these and then keep them all together comments please so this is well just to sort of try and prove that this is my old pinion if I just give that a tap virtually halfway through there a little bit short maybe now if I put that through the same hole on this and this is where it was fitted and I'm assuming it's original that's not halfway so those holes are different and I think that yoke and that pinion are possibly original don't know so they didn't match so there I've got not quite halfway if we try it on this what have we got here that's very nearly halfway which is exactly what I've got on that one so I'm going to assemble it, push the pin through, mark the end of this pin where it leaves the yoke and thread it up to there. Here we are, pins in. I've marked it with felt pen on the end of that pin. So I'll thread it till I just lose the felt pen. Done, threaded, trimmed. The taper goes through this hole and this hole. And if I run out of thread, I'll just put a thicker washer on there. I'll probably change this for a nylock, but I think that'll be a, a good strong joint. If you look at the pin I took out of there, can you see how that's been bashed around? And I didn't do that, that's how it came out.